Hello guys and welcome to episode 11 of my Total War Warhammer 3 playthrough playing as Scarbrand leading the Exiles of Khorne to take Urson's head. Today though we're going to be taking the heads of Slaanesh as we will want to take Volcano's heart. I think technically I could attack it this turn if I wanted to but we should probably get ourselves some replenishment and an extra unit before we go in for the attack. So we are going to wait because yeah, I do have the Eternal War which I could summon in order to give me the movement range to hit Volcano's heart. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Uh, not this turn anyway. Admiring the Corrupt is complete next turn which means any new uh, blood hosts will be uh, bigger. I'll be 16 man be pretty nice. I think that's everything I need to do for this turn though, so we're just going to move on to the next one. I'm just going to keep it sped up. Alright, nothing happened. Great. Um... The sound of drums. Frustrated, slaughter-starved legion of demons pound their hooves upon the ground in nightmarish synchronicity. A cacophonous, earth-shaking drumbeat that stokes mindless fury in all who hear it. We get extra control. The 500 favor. We'll take that. Northern provinces have gone into the blood god domain. And admiring the crops is complete. We have a rebellion in the plain of bones soon. Which is fine because that's going to be upgraded. And the garrison's nice and chunky now. Right, where do I want to go next? I think Pride to Continue is probably a good one. Like buffing the Blood Hosts generally, I think, is a good idea. Because then we can just spam the crap out of them. I'm gonna go blade shield on this guy just because he's low. Like I just need to buff his defense. And right, this turn we're gonna take on the units here. They didn't actually recruit anything at the end of the turn, so that's fine by me. Uh, we're gonna send the doom harvesters down to the forest of decay. Alright, let's take volcano's heart. Oh, they actually have some corn rebels there as well. It says it's gonna be a pyrrhic victory. I don't think so. We'll be fine. It's just the towers that are going to be annoying again. Ooh, it is one of those annoying maps though. I'm going to jump on in. Best bet here, I think, is just to focus on one side and make sure we get the cap. Like, maybe I could have some of my bloodlords of corn sit on one side and then just like run them back around to the side that I want them. Oh my skull like blood crushers. We put them like on the left and then we actually attack the right. I think that would be the best way to do it because then we draw some of their units away from that. Yeah, I'm starting to think that like the best way to take these settlements is just to kind of like rush them into melee and then just like beat them down as fast as possible. Yeah, we'll put these over here. And then I'll put these over here as well. And my Chaos Warriors can be ready to go like so. Okay. Start the battle. Let's go. Yeah, so they moved a bunch of stuff over here, which is fine. And they put this magic tower up there, though. Yes. 
possessed of the blood god. I kind of don't want to get caught up on these if I can help it, but I should be able to kill them off pretty fast. I'm just going to bring the boys in there. And we'll bring some boys in this way as well. We'll start wailing on those uh, Marauders of Slanesh. These ones can charge these guys. Give the tower something to shoot. Scarbrand's on 125 melee attack. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Another way he just said Scarbrand disengaging. As if that's part of his vocabulary. We're actually making them hit themselves there. What a bit. Gonna hold these back. And they've moved away from this side. I think we just shift everything else over here now. Conquest. I think it's taking a little bit longer than I would like at the moment. to be a bit careful here. Um, wow, that actually does tons of damage. I haven't used that enough. Yeah, so I'm just trying to get these to kind of flank in here and break these ASAP so that I can run down here into the capture point. I might get Scarbrand to just go down there anyway. Because he doesn't really buff any other troops, so not a big deal if he's not involved. Taking out this magic tower would definitely be better. That is good. Alright, we'll have him come back and take out the Alurus back here. I'm gonna get my Blood Shrine of Chaos away from that. Oh yeah, that's the damage we like to see. I'm 
Oh, she is chunked. Go on, get rid of her. Give her one more slap. Or don't. That's <laughs> fine too, I guess. going relatively well so far uh, we can have him kill the herald we have one more of these we can come in we can buff everyone up and now these guys should have like crazy melee attack Like, even though he missed his target, he still does so much damage to the units around. Oh, that's victory. There we go. Brilliant. End the battle before we take too much damage from that tower. <laughs> and job done. Okay, good. I think the most ridiculous thing about this is I'm probably going to be able to bounce off this element, go take the next element that they own, and maybe I should save the 100% to get to the far settlement in our land that Slanesh gave, sorry, uh, Sinch gave to Slanesh. And the blood hosts just can't keep up. <laughs> Even though technically they're ahead right now. I could spawn a blood for the blood god. Uh sure, let's do it. Oh that destroyed the rebellion. Interesting. So is Bloodhaven maybe owned by Skaven or something? I might just like YOLO down here and go check that out. Okay, so no, I can't hit the Forest of Decay this turn, but that's fine. Uh, we'll save our movement, because I want to take that and then we're going to move on toward the, uh, the Glyph of Beasts. Let's get the Revel in, uh, Revel in Slaughter, which is the passive ability, the extra 8 melee attack. And I do have high rank blood crushers, so I could get over Whammy Stampede for them. That would bring them up to 45 spell resistance, which is actually pretty useful against the magic towers. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And I guess we'll also end up getting the Rush to Slaughter for the Minotaurs and Bloodthirsters. Since we have Harbing as a death. But then again... Yeah, I'm assuming we can level up more. Let's do speed. It is on the Blood Crusher, so that's fine. Alright, this fella. We'll move up here. Cool. Anything else I need to do? I think so. In terms of uh, heroes, what can I recruit? Oh, that's two out of two. I do need to increase 
the amount of those that I can bring in. Just so that I can spawn them as and when I need them. So, here in the shifting monolith, we'll probably do another one of those. Get that maxed out. Uh, which one would I want to do first here? Probably the Folly of Malefax. It's the most exposed. Let's just check buildings. We have a lot of cash again. Don't think I need to upgrade that. Oh, we can get this now. The Machina Demon de Demonium. 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 I don't. <laughs> it's like. It's such a weird word. Anyway. <laughs> Demonium. Like, it's such a very strange. It's a very strange word. Um, corruption in adjacent provinces plus three, upkeep reduction faction wide for bloodlands of corn exalted bloodlands of corn, minus 30% sure why not I actually have to level it up to get the extra hero capacity actually that's good to know I might do that here as well We'll level that one up, so we actually have the extra hero capacity from that. I mean, I am going to level that up just so that we can unlock um, the Gore Beasts. Okay. Might as well do that. Got the Imminent Rebellion here, that's fine. Great. Let's move on. I don't think there's anyone I need to pay attention to. It's kind of crazy, actually. I just like wiped out my enemies so fast. It's very, very similar to the Torox campaign in the way that this works. Like, I go to war with someone and they're dead before I know it. Okay, bring these boys down. Have him destroy this. Should be able to resolve this, right? I was gonna say, like, that shouldn't affect me too much. Uh, we'll do Blood for Blood God again. And we're now gonna march this way. And I'm gonna pop the Eternal War. Uh, maybe not while he's in March stance. <laughs> Although I can't change it, can I? I guess I can change it after the battle. Doesn't really matter that much that he's in March stance. Okay. I don't really need to get that right now, actually. Because I don't have any Minotaurs or Bloodthirsters that are rank 7. So I think we're just going to go for Hunt. More strength, more Alright, those are all leveled up. Uh, Doom Harvesters are carrying on down. Yeah, this is Skaven. Okay. Maybe I send the Doom Harvesters this way as well then. It's nice to actually have more armies to move. Oh, actually, I should probably leave that there. So I can use it for movement range. But I'm not sure it's going to be in the right place. But let's just do Eternal War here. I don't think I can do it on him because... Oh, I can. Okay, good. Can I jump in and fight this out? I 
thought for a second I couldn't because he was in March Dance, but I already had the army selected, so I just needed to click that perform button. So it's basically going to be up to Scarbrand here, I think. There's no real reason for me to commit too much else. I'll make them a group. Everything else can just chill behind. This is like the wounded group. <laughs> and this is the good group. Army of the Dark Gods! Northern Barbarians! We spill their blood. We seize their skulls. I'm going to want to use my breath attack on them before we charge in because it is mighty OP. We'll do it on the Chaos Warriors. Ooh, that actually sliced open the uh, blood letters there. Chaos Warriors of Korn! Right, let's finish off these blood letters. Interesting that I can't actually bring in the extra ones as normal. But maybe it'd be too strong. I'm gonna get him out of there. We'll let our brand do his thing. My cultist is kind of bad in general. <laughs> I'm gonna have these blood crushers kill the flesh hounds. Very good, we'll have the Blood Crushers now kill the spawn. Get rid of those Chaos spawn. Yes. Has he regened? I think he has. Could have sworn he was lower health. My boy's in trouble. Oh no! Get out of there! annoying. But technically, he shouldn't have died there. Stupid chaos spawn. I don't think he dies like fully. I think he's immortal. Uh, it should be fine. It's just going to be irritating trying to get him to catch up to Scarbrand's army. Good 
Good. Alright, well, we'll take the uh, replenishment. And hopefully our guy's not dead. He's just wounded, it's fine. How long is he wounded for? Five turns? That's annoying. Uh, oh, we could attack that army as well. Good. Okay, replenishment. And by March, I don't really make much more ground, so we're just gonna go into the encamp. And I might as well replace this guy for now. Can I get another Blood Reaper, potentially? I don't know what building I need to get Blood Reapers. Let's have a look. Need the hunting fields, which would unlock the Minotaurs. It needs a level 4 settlement, which I don't think I have yet. Because I'm too busy upgrading walls everywhere. Cultist of the Blood God. Unassigned skill point. That's fine. Uh, getting thick skin is probably a good idea, actually. Uh, because of the missile resistance, because he is massive. So having some missile resistance is important. Let's get that gate of corn upgrade finally. Polyamal effects can level up here. And we'll level that up as well, the Cornate Furnace. Get the exalted blood letters of corn. And now we move on to the next turn. Keep things sped up. Hopefully there's not like a huge army that we have to deal with in that army that or in that um Slanesh settlement over here that we're approaching. There could very well be, just because over a few turns, they most likely will have uh, built up there. Uh, your legion uncovers a nest of ancient malnourished vampires. The death-cheating ghouls flee for the surface, throwing a bone-adorned brass reliquary box at your demon's feet in the hope of distraction. I mean, experience is pointless on this army, so we'll take the terrifying mask of E. Oh, it looks like we're okay for now. Good. Yeah, we're gonna have this army come down here. And we'll double team the Burning Monolith next turn. And then we can go to Bloodhaven afterwards, and that should be fine. I'm not sure what to do with this. We must go forth. I mean, I guess he can just kind of scout for us. So that's fine. Okay, that's everything done again. Hopefully, I can bounce quite hard. Well, they end in their non-aggression pack with me. Interesting. Doesn't really matter that much. Putrid Swarm. Pretty strong. Um, oh nice, we got a new settlement. Good stuff. Right, we'll get that upgraded. And in here... I really should get the Skull Harvester. Do I not have a Skull Harvester yet? I don't think I do. Can just click through here. It's probably faster. I need the money to do that. Just go and attack the Cliff of Beasts. I want to resolve that. Thank you very much. 
I'm gonna sack it. And we'll wipe it out. Uh, we could just occupy it. Let's just occupy it. Like, I have the spare skulls right now, so that's fine. I will just fix that up. I'll put in the trophy racks. And yeah, here we're going to put the skull harvester now. Alright, Doom Harvesters are starting to deplete a little bit. That's fine. We're gonna declare war on these. It's fine. Oh wow. I am just gonna encircle so that we get these guys in the battle. I might pop out another army here. Yeah, sure, why not? And we'll head over to Mudhaven. Yeah, oh, hello, Dungrut. Of Nurgle. Uh, who else need to move? This one. Could we take the Twisted Towers? No, they have a pretty big garrison there. Do they have walls? I actually don't think they have walls yet. It could be worth me delaying that. Venerate the wolf father. By just sieging them. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to work. Likelihood is that they will sally forth. Why's that Blood Reaper got 64 melee attack? Crazy. Mm, their front line is like way more scary than mine. We'll just encircle for now. If they don't actually attack us, then that's fine. Also, one thing I'm going to do here. Let's give him Armor of Destiny. I need to check his items because we've definitely picked up a bunch. The ward save is really nice. That's 30% ward save right there. Uh, what about these? I should get a potion of healing, probably. Mm, potion of toughness is pretty good as well. Uh, what about ancillaries? Trying to work out which one would be best. We'll take that one out. We'll put that in. Get the skull totem. Good. We still need to do his quest, actually. Uh, where are they kept? Did we already do his quest? No, we didn't. Should do this as well. Oops. I shouldn't have let that run out. That was dumb. 
Uh, cranial collection. The rock of inevitability. Gritting scales and obsidian lodestone. Send 8,000 skulls to the skull throne. Hey, where's this quest battle? I don't know I feel like I'm kind of, kind of being dumb here. Objectives, torturing carnage. Where is this? Ah, okay, there it is. It's because I'm not used to it being on this side. I think maybe we could do that soon. Maybe not this turn, but maybe the turn after while we're waiting to move down here. And I'm not sure if winning that battle would technically give me movement range. Eternal warfare. Spread his word. Okay, let's end the turn. We'll see if we get attacked. Hopefully we don't. Ah, they don't come out. I mean, it's annoying, but this is actually kind of nice. Hmm, I'm going to fight this out. I think because we have like a place where we can group them up nice and tight, we should actually win because we have like better units overall because of the blood shrines. Yeah, I think the blood runs with this battle. And if we don't win, like if I lose, I actually don't care. Like it doesn't matter. Um, at the end of the day, we're just distracting the garrison there. So yeah, what I can do is pull back to here maybe. Maybe keep one unit this way. Or I could just like back up over here, maybe. I think this would be better because I can I can use a skull cannon on the ground, high ground. We leave these like wide. I'm going to want to target the Chaos Warriors of Corn, I think. Oh, they spawned a unit here. <laughs> they spawned in my blood shrines, though. Interesting. Gonna dive down here onto the Chaos Warhounds and take them out nice and fast. And then that will draw the Chaos Furious down and we can kill them as well. Good. Yeah, those are already dead. <laughs> it's very nice. Alright, let's get involved. Get the charge going. I would use this, but I don't really care to at the moment. I'm just going to keep these out wide. They're going to charge into the back of this. I'm also saving my skull cannon on purpose here because I want to make sure that I can get some good chunky shots in. Yeah, 
if we come over here how's it going <laughs> hello do you, you want to do what I say it's weird okay well I didn't want it anyway <laughs> I guess Alright, now we want to plant some shots into the back of this melee. I'm just going to turn these around for a sec. Okay, not into my own troops. Alright, let's just get in here. Finish off these units. Nice. We're killing off the, both those blood letters. I think my RPs here might get shot if I'm not careful. Oh, we won. Okay, good. Okay, just making sure I'm cleaning them up, just in case it doesn't like give us the settlement. My lovely flesh hounds destroying them. This flesh hounds is like so big compared to these chaos warriors. They're actually massive. They take a while to chew up, don't they? Alright, that should be enough. We'll take the pair of victory. Good. Exalted blood letters. Doing a great job. Yeah, because I was able to like bunch them up like that, we got such good value out of our blood shrines. Because the blood shrines are constantly buffing every unit that I have, and they're also doing a nice AoE with their attacks. That's going to be one settlement down. And I guess if I get another blood host here. Oh no, the army's dead. Oh, what? But the main guy didn't die. How does that work? That's so weird. I'm pretty sure my main guy survived. Like in the army, so... Ah, oh, that sucks. That just sucks. Like, it really sucks. Oh, they hadn't actually claimed the souls. Ah, oh, okay. When I was looking at this before, it was like highlighting them, but I think it was just showing us the, the realms that they were in. So I guess... Only one person can take each soul each time the portals open. Okay. 
And we got Volcano's Heart, and we got Forest of Decay, and we got the Monolith of the Void. Blimey, they all popped up nice and fast. Okay. Use up all that cash. It's annoying that we won that, but the army still died. Like, I'm actually really annoyed about that. <laughs> Ugh. Oh well. Let's start heading back down here. And I think next turn we'll do the the battle. I don't know if I want to spend that much more money on upgrades here. Not for now. I guess the wall upgrade is worth it. Yeah, okay. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So yeah, we're going to leave it here. A real, real shame that we actually lost that army because we would have taken the settlement if that wasn't the case which is really silly uh, but yeah anyway let's just see I'll sort this out next time I think yeah that's it for now hopefully you guys have enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one goodbye yeah,